Hey guys, Sean Hamlin with PremierGuitar.com. We are at Winter NAM 2016 in Anaheim talking to Colt from Walrus Audio. We've got Caleb on guitar. Colt, you guys have two new pedals, and as usual, they have the creepiest, coolest graphics ever. That's right. <laughs> That's what so, it's all about. So the first one is the Julia. That's what we heard coming in, right? Yeah. Tell so us about the, it. The Julia is a chorus vibrato. And uh, so on a lot of uh, chorus vibrato pedals, you toggle between chorus and vibrato. But what vibrato really is, uh, essentially most of the time, is a chorus pedal with the dry signal taken out. So we've been, we, we put a blend control in here to allow you to go from full dry to chorus right about noon, and then begin to bleed out the dry signal to get fully wet to kind of get uh, a vibrato. So why don't we why don't we go around the dial with it and see it? Yeah, so the, that's a minimum. Here's full dry. Everyone gets most of these knobs, rate, depth, dry, wet, but explain the lag knob. So lag is uh, manipulating the delay time based on the LFO, and so which, what that allows you to do is to be able to get a very uh, nice, easy, digestible, thin chorus, so we can hear that. So I am by no means a, uh, a pedal circuitry expert, but is, it, is that something that typically would often be kind of combined with the depth control on others? Like, yeah, it's a, it's a little different. So on a lot of uh, a lot of chorus pedals, especially the big ones in history, uh, a lot of them just have a set delay time that's happening, and you're not able to manipulate it. You can and, uh, you can uh, control the 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 drama of the depth. Uh, the drama of the rate, but not really the the vastness of the uh, uh, of the chorus, the thickness of the chorus. So that's why some people like you know certain choruses because they sound very thin or you know nice and easy, or some chorus sound really wet. And so uh, we wanted to be able to kind of put it all in one. And so the lag parameters is uh, was it was it something we really wanted to include it on. Cool. Want included on this one. Are there any other settings you want to show us before yeah, we move wave on? Form, you get a sine wave and a triangle wave. So. You wanna, let's crank the depth. Let's see how that sounds. How it. weird. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so next up is the contraband fuzz, right? Yeah, so the contraband is just a no-frills uh, standard fuzz. So we like it so much in the way it sounds that the only uh, parameter that we have allowed is a level control. So you turn it on, that's the sound you get. We do have a thick and thin toggle to be able to, uh, so you can find a good sound if you're playing single coils, humbuckers, and find a good pairing with your guitar and your amp. But uh, other than that, it's uh, turned up as loud as you want, and that's what you got. So. No. Let's hear it. Go, we'll go for it. So I was gonna say when we heard it a little bit before, it seemed like unity gain was pretty low on the dial, right? Yeah. Cool. So go ahead.
How much are these going for, man? Uh, we haven't set a price on it just yet, but uh, the contraband's going to be uh, in, in the low 100s family, and Julia's kind of kind of float around the $200 price point. We're not really sure just yet, but Julia's going to be out uh, at the end of February or the beginning of March, and the contraband will be coming out in uh, in May. Sweet. Why don't you tell everyone where to go online to check them out? Uh, you can go to walrusaudio.com or any of our participating dealers. Sweet. Yeah, Thanks, man. guys. Yeah, I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com. Thanks for watching. See ya.